guys, I wanted to talk today about how to kind of optimize your show it website um, for SEO. And so first thing is kind of to look at how your site was built. Um, you want to make sure that in terms of the stacking order, things are built correctly. Um, and so how, what that means is whenever you're on a page, you can see this. So this is the layer order of the elements in your site. Um, it's best to kind of look at this inside of mobile view because that's kind of what um, Google is also going to be looking at in terms of how things are layered. Um, so you want each element to kind of be in the order that it's showing up on screen as the structure. Um, so as you go through you want to so like that one technically needs to be a little higher and I don't I mean it's not like the end of the world if it's not but it just makes it easier for Google um, and other search engines to kind of read your site, which means it's going to be easier for it to optimize them and promote it, basically. So as you go through, you can just click and drag elements. If you see that they're not in the right order, um, it's super easy to just fix that quickly. Um, so yeah, so that's the first thing that is good to check on your website. Second thing is the text tags. So your site is built based on these design settings. And these um, each of these headings and um, paragraph is set up automatically with text tags just to kind of help you out. Um, so your title is going to be text tag heading one, heading is heading two, subheading is heading three, and P paragraph is P. And so what that means is over here, if you have text properties, um, you can, so it'll set up automatically based on, you know, what you've selected as the style for that text block, but you can also change it manually, which, um, you probably want to do because sometimes you will want to use your title somewhere else in the page, but really you want to only have one heading one per page. Um, and so this is our heading one for this page. This is heading, uh, heading three, let me see paragraphs. Um, any links to or you know anything that's navigating you're going to set as a nav text tag um, and then like the next canvas so you can see we have a heading two um, a heading three and so kind of per um, canvas you can just change these as needed um, but they should be pretty set up based on your site settings so um, should be hopefully minimal adjusting if you um, purchase a template, but it's always good to just double check these and make sure that everything is looking good. Um, so, and then let's talk about your SEO settings. So if you go to like a page, you'll see over here, there's SEO settings. So maybe kind of down here. This is where you're gonna change the page title for each page. Um, so this can say, you know, home, give a description about your brand, um, whatever it is you want to say, and then you have a meta description as well. So to give you some examples, like here's mine, so you can see this is my site title for my homepage, and then this is my meta description. And see Jenna Kutcher, you can see her site title, her meta description here, and then you got Amy Porterfield with her site title and her meta description. So that'll just kind of give you an idea. You can just kind of Google other people to see, you know, how they're utilizing their descriptions because it's important for, you know, that's how people are going to find you and search for you. So you want to make sure to use keywords that are related to what you do, um, words that are people are searching. Um, the meta keywords inside show it doesn't really, I don't think has a big impact. You can throw some words in there, but I wouldn't really worry about it. And then lastly, you can set a share image. So this image is what will share, like if you plug your website on Facebook, um, just anywhere that you're sharing your website, this is the image that will pop up. So you can just click that and set that. So that's basically um, for your main website, how SEO works. And then over on your blog, so we have text tags set up over here as well. Um, and these are going to pull from 
your design settings again. So over in your blog, let's see, whenever you have like a, a heading right here, you can see it's a heading two. So that means it's going to pull in this heading type. And so that's what will show up over in your blog. Um, so it's all built in. You don't really have to do too much regarding tags for your blog. Um, the, the other thing to think about is making sure that you have your Yoast plugin activated. So to activate it, you just go to plugins, um, search the list for Yoast SEO. If you have a basic blog, it's there. Um, if you have an advanced blog, you might have to add it. I can't remember, um, but you can easily search for it. So once you have that activated, this is what will show up at the bottom of all of your posts. And you can see it's called Yoast SEO. And here's where you're going to have the page title and description for each of your blog posts. So you can click Edit Snippet. And you can edit this as needed. Um, you can change the title. Um, you can change the slug and then provide a meta description that is a good, you know, searchable description for um, leading people to your blog post. You can also set a focus key phrase, which is great um, to help with SEO as well. So you want to kind of um, try and change this up not use the same one for every single post. And then also it'll give you kind of these stats um, that'll tell you if you're doing a good job um, related to SEO for that blog post or if you need to do better. So I think that is it. Hopefully you found this all helpful.